impregnant of 0.5 percentage of potassium oxide, you can see the S amount is decreased. And uh, here very clear, you see the S amount of the dissolution, the, the, the dissolution amount is decreasing with potassium oxide content. So it's very clear, using potassium oxide impregnation method, we can decrease the acid amount of the catalyst and also the acidity. And then we use the acetic acid TBD spectrum to, to study the best amount. This is the, we use the boric oxide to impregnate on the titanium zirconium surface. We see here, in the dissolution amount of acetic acid uh, is uh, decreased with boric oxide uh, doping amount. So it's very clear, you use, using boric oxide <coughs> impregnation method, you can poison the best side of the channels. Here is a summary. Here, using potassium, the triangle is best amount of the catalyst. The circle is the S amount, and uh, the open one is the surface area. Using potassium oxide doping, you can see it decreases the S amount, but, the, but not the best amount of the catalyst. And uh, using boric oxide doping, so you can decrease the best amount, but not the S amount. So. Here is a short summary. You mean? I mean, I can use this catalyst. They have different. They have maybe the same, almost the same surface area, but the S amount and the base amount of catalyst are different. So we use this catalyst to study some reactions. So this is the reaction I want. Uh, I would like to show you is normal pyruvate dehydrocyclization. We know the first commercial uh, reforming catalyst, I should say dehydrocyclization catalyst, is chromium oxide and alumina. It's, uh, the mechanism, they say, is, should be on six membrane cultures. So first paraffin goes to dehydrogenate to olefin, then cyclize to cyclohexane, then to dehydrogenate to aromatics. And now the conventional reforming catalyst is metal S bifunctional catalyst. Is on Chinese metal on acid support. But yes, let's show the, the mechanism of this. Go through five membrane closure. So it's uh, go through paraffin to olefin, then to alkyl cyclopentane, then to cyclohexane. So the mechanism that show you if you want to dehydrocyclization of the paraffin, you must go through the five the five ring, the intermediate then go to cyclohexane to aromatics. But if you use titanium and zirconium six uh, catalyst, you will find it's go through six membrane closure, not five membrane. And I will show you the mechanism now. Dehydrocyclization of normal hexane uh, over an S based bifunctional catalyst. The first one, uh, normal, normal hexane should be absorbed on S and the base side of the catalyst. Then either they absorb on the surface, either on 1 2 absorption or 1 6 absorption. Then they can, they, there are two, two routes you can go, like uh, A and B, maybe go to the 1 2. Uh, go to dehydrogenate to the, uh, one hexane without desorption, then, then one hexane uh, direct to cyclize to cyclohexane. And uh, the other way, B is uh, the direct to cyclize to cyclohexane, then dehydrogenate to cyclohexane. All this process, process must, pro, uh, must proceed through the pair S and the base side of the catalyst. Uh, so today the reaction, I will show you one hexane, sorry, this is wrong word. This is one hexane and cyclohexane and normal hexane. 
And uh, I use the poison catalyst, it means potassium oxide and boric oxide. And I study the, the pathway of this reactor and go to the, 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 the do some reaction on the acid and base by functional catalyst. Here is uh, the product yield of the cyclohexane reaction over, over the different catalysts. So the catalyst is tit original titanium zirconium, and uh, I drop in 0 0.5 to 2.6 potassium oxide. This means I decrease the best amount, the S amount of catalyst. Then uh, for, <coughs> I use boric oxide doping, in decrease the best amount of the catalyst. Very clear, we can see the conversion. The conversion of cyclohexane decreases with increasing potassium oxide doping amount and boric oxide doping amount. It's very clear. The excess, the paired S base side must be the, the FT side of the cyclohexane reactions. Here we can see the the, uh, the, strong, the first one, the cracking amount is decreasing with the first doping 0 0.5 of the potassium oxide and uh, boric oxide. Since the, the surface of the, the strong surface, the strong acid or the strong base side must be the, crack, the active side for the cracking reactions. The most important is the benzene. Benzene is dehydrogenation of cyclohexane. The benzene yield is decreasing with increasing potassium oxide uh, and uh, boric oxide content. So here very clear we know the pair S and the best side is the active side for the dehydrogenation of cyclohexane. So this is uh, the same we use the benzene yield of cyclohexane, and uh, here is the relative S and the best ratio. We know it's very clear, it's a volcano shell. And it's the benzene yield to show the volcano shell. The maximum yield is when the S best ratio is one. It means if you have more along S side, or more along S side, doesn't can get any dehydrogenation product. So very clear. Uh, the, the pair S base side is the active side of the bending uh, cyclization dehydrogenation. Then is the next one, one hexane. It's the olefin. What's happened on the olefin? Here, the same catalyst. And the conversion, we see the conversion didn't change any, uh, much. Uh, so we see, we know that. The S, the S amount and the base amount are the active side for the one hexane reaction. But the benzene is the same, they decrease with the uh, doping amount. So for the olefin, one hexane, we also know the, the paired S base side is the active side for the dehydrogenation of one hexane. But here we see they think they have, they have, they have, very same, uh, they are, they have the same conversion. But what, what happened on the acid side, along acid side and along base side? It's very interesting. One has seen has uh, like a three isomerization uh, product. Uh, isohexane is molecular isomerization and uh, double bond shifter reaction, two and three hexanes. Here, it is the acid base ratio. From this, we see from here, the Isohexane increase with, uh, with the acid base ratio. It means the more you have more acid side, you get more isohexane product. But the double bond shifter reaction decrease with the acid base ratio. It means the base side of the catalyst they can enhance the, the double bond shifter reactions. <laughs> So here is a very short, uh, very short um, uh, summary of one hexane to benzene. Of course, I didn't show you the cracking. The cracking is, uh, we know the strong acid side and strong base side is the cracking 
and then they can do quicking reactions. If the one has seen the absorbed ampere as its best side, they go through the dehydrocyclization to benzene. But if one has seen a soft on acid side, the intermediate is carbonyl ion, so they do the molecular isomerization reaction to get isohexene product. If the one has seen a soft on base side, the intermediate carbonyl ion, so the do the double bond shifted reaction is the and they get two and three hexane product. So this is uh, the other, uh, uh, I use normal hexane to do the, uh, the same. You see, this is the, the first one, is the one hexane. The hexane is the volcanic shape as the acid base ratio. And the benzene is, is the same shape. It means the dehydrogenate product and the dehydrocyclization product of normal hexane, the empty side, it should be the pair as its best side on the catalyst. So this, now is the conclusion, the show conclusion. From uh, above result, we know the very simple. You can, if you want to poison the best amount of the catalyst of best amount of the catalyst. You can use it potassium oxide or boric oxide impregnation method. And uh, you can decrease the S amount and the best amount of the, the catalyst. Also, you poison the normal hexane and the cyclohexane dehydrogenation activity. And the second one is the, the pair S base of the catalyst must be uh, the active site in the dehydrogenation of normal hexane and the and the cycle has same, and uh, the cyclization of one has seen. And uh, the last one is the key. It's, it's mean only the pair S base side prep is the is the um, primary role in the dehydrocyclization of pair of uh, hydrocarbons. So I would like thanks for the the support of the the family and the manufacturer, the center of the Chinese petroleum cooperation. Thank you very much.
teach GMS, I use the absorption method, and I absorb the normal building on mine and acetic acid. So it's the same result. But why I use the TBD? Because I want to know the change of the strength, the acid, acidity and the base acidity. Because I want to know maybe the because I found a strong acid side is poisoned when you drop in 0 0.5 potassium acid and the burnt as uh, the volume by amount. Oh, and so I, I want to, this is the, I want to show the strength of the city and the acidity. Okay, thank you. Sure, please. Before I come back, do you have any additional information about uh, this chemical stage and the menu of science? No, actually I don't have. Yeah, let's so I said, I just saw the paper they said they think the titanium negative is the basic sign of the catalyst. It's just one paper I know. Sorry, <laughs> 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 <laughs>